Nutrition is an essential part of health and development. It's linked to better infant, child and maternal health, a lower risk of disease and a longer life expectancy. And a strong nutrition data system can help countries make strong choices, allocating resources where they're needed and monitoring national nutrition progress. But there are still data gaps to be addressed. UNICEF, WHO and the European Union as the main donor are working together to improve nutrition data systems in five target countries. Côte d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Laos, Uganda and Zambia. Let's have a look at Uganda in more detail. At the Mbarara Regional Referral Hospital, Comfort is having a checkup with her young daughter, Veronica. It is very, very useful to come to the hospital to take for Veronica's health and growth. When the child comes, we wait and we brought. We have that child health card. Without the data, really, you can't know where you are lying. This essential data, like data on child growth and nutrition status, is collected from Veronica and many others as part of the Growth Monitoring and Promotion Service, prepared as a monthly report and sent to the biostatician. This data is also fed back to staff at regional level, where they can use it to better focus their healthcare resources. Now we move to the Ministry of Health in Kampala to find out how this data is utilised at the central level. We use evidence to guide which interventions to deploy. We must articulate those things in our policy based on evidence. And that evidence, of course, will come through an effective and efficient nutrition information system. Recently, we developed the MICAN, Maternal Infant, Young Child and Adolescent Guidelines. This really is to provide standard framework for delivery of MICAN nutrition services. The support from UNICEF and WHO through this NIST project is timely. It is timely in many ways. The more you decentralize data visualization, it improves decision making at that level. Managers are able to see the data and make a decision based on the data that they are seeing. WHO has actually been supporting multiple nutrition interventions in the country but it was very difficult for us to assess the impact of our interventions. So with a routine system which collects performance on the process indicators, it helps us know how we are performing and the impact of our interventions. Nutrition information system is critical in ensuring that we continue improving, adjusting and learning to ensure that we achieve the goals both for the government of Uganda, the children of Uganda, and at the same time achieve the sustainable development goal. And I think NIS, supported by the European Union, implemented by UNICEF and WHO, is perfectly addressing this. This collaboration between WHO, UNICEF and the European Union will support policy development, programme design and monitoring in the future. Filling nutrition data gaps means the right policies can be created to support health and well-being for all. And with strong nutrition policies in place, children like Veronica can look forward to a healthier, happier future.